Hey internet, Captain Erica here, uh, out in the woods today, and uh, with the family. Cameron and Teddy are off doing their thing behind there. Anyway, um, the other day I posted on Instagram a post um, that was like, hey guys, like, do you guys have vehicle survival kits? And um, if so, have you updated like your medications and everything? Because it's good like, to check on those things at least annually to make sure your kits are all ready to rumble. And someone was like, you should do a video on your vehicle survival kit. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> so I will. Um, so anyway, this is our car. Uh, I think it's really important to have some sort of basic survival gear in your car, of course. And so uh, this, our car, because um, this is the one that we used to go to the woods, is pretty well outfitted. So I'll just go ahead and kind of do a show and tell of what I have and like kind of the reasoning behind it. I'm going to start with the back of the car. I cleared it all out. So there is some stuff out here. This is stuff that I don't always have in the car. I just have it when we go to the woods. So I have uh, a fire, ABC fire extinguisher, a shovel. Cameron brought his pickaxe today. And then I have my bushcraft bucket full of my bushcrafty things. And I have my back, EDC backpack and our hats and camera doodads. Oh, and snacks and everything over there for the boy. So anyway, those are things that I don't normally have in my car. But in here, this box is always in the car along with this bag and the umbrella stroller and everything. So I'm going to pull this box out and we'll look inside of it. Okay, so this is the box that I have most of the stuff in. Um, I'll show you. I have some things up in my glove box and console area that I'll show you too. But this is where most of it is. Um, I inherited this box from my father-in-law, um, so shouts out to him for that. Um, you can use any kind of tote. Back in the day, uh, I just had like a cardboard box in the back of my Jeep and it was fine. So I've got a kind of random assortment of things in here. Um, this is not a perfect kit, nor is it an expensive kit. A lot of this stuff is secondhand or has been salvaged from other things. Um, but I think it's a, it's a decent little setup for what I, what I have and what I can afford. So let's see here. Um, so in an emergency in a vehicle, uh, it's really good to have like vehicle stuff. So I have in here jumper cables. These are like super heavy duty mega jumper cables, uh, that my mom got at like Goodwill or something. And they're like legit. So I have used those like 10 billion times. I used to be really forgetful with my headlights in some of my other cars. Um, so I was constantly having to jump my car back in the day. Um, so other car stuff, I have this box over here. Uh, I have oil and uh, funnel flares. Those are really handy in car accidents. I, I wish that I could uh, expand on the flares and maybe get some uh, like triangles or something too. But for now I have a couple flares um, and some tools. I have some bungee cords just in case just in case I need bungee cords. Uh, duct tape. This is Gorilla Tape and it was when it gets like hot in your car that's like kind of one of the pain in the butt things about uh, survival kits in your car is it gets so hot in your vehicle so it was kind of like getting goop everywhere so I put it in a plastic bag. So oh this is just some stuff that from my old car. Um, so I have some really like cheap tools in here. These are from like the dollar store. I got this for Christmas, uh, but I have a measuring tape um, and some pliers and some screwdrivers. Uh, oh, and I have, apparently I have a can opener. I forgot about that. And um, a cheap multi-tool. This came out of a survival kit, like one of those pre-made ones from a long time ago, um, but it's got like basic stuff in it. Uh, just good to have. I ha I would say that my tool kit for the vehicle is a little weak. Um, most of my good tools are at home, but I think that it's not so bad. <laughs> it's better than nothing. And here I have three contractors bags. I chose three of them in case I needed to make like po ponchos or something for the three of us, although I do have some ponchos in here. Um, but you can cover up quite a bit with these and they're, they're inexpensive. Uh, I'd like to get some sort of other tarp for in here someday. But 
let's see. The next, that's the survival gear. I think that's, oh, this is my ice scraper. That's pretty much all the car stuff. Let's look at the survival stuff. So I have some basic tools in here, kind of focus more on like woodsy stuff because if we were to get stranded, it probably would be in the woods because that's kind of like where we go uh, a lot and by ourselves and stuff. So just got a cheap bow saw. You can get these at garage sales for pretty cheap. I don't have like a cover for it. So I just made a little cardboard sheath for that. The bow saw and a folding shovel. So I always have, this is like a little Gerber folding shovel. Um, when we go to the woods, I also bring the big wood shovel. Um, but it's good to have a little shovel. Um, then I have a BK4. So I'll take it out for those of you that don't know. The BK4 is a, a rather large blade, but it's nice because it's kind of like an ax. It's really good for uh, chopping and batoning and things. Um, so if there was like uh, a need for a variety of tasks, this is a great kind of multi-purpose large knife. Um, this in conjunction with the saw is kind of like my clearing a tree uh, in front of the car like sort of scenario. Um, something additional that's nice is like bringing an axe. So, but I usually bring an axe with us to the wood anyway. This is just is like my emergency stuff. So, BK4, and then inside here I have a BK13, just a little fixed blade knife, uh, some little sharpening stones, and the tool that tightens the screws in the handle of the BK4 in case that comes loose. Allen wrench. <laughs> in my opinion, I think water and a first aid kit are some of the most important things and like the first steps in like starting a car survival kit that you should bring. Um, in this kit, I have two insulated uh, water bottles. This one's 40 ounces and this one I think is like 32 or something. Anyway, it might be 24. This isn't actually really enough water based on like suggestions you see online and my experience um, of going to the woods. Um, but I would love to hear in the comments, I've had problems with plastic jugs condensating on my stuff. And I actually, in my old car, in my Jeep, um, I had a big gallon, a uh, couple gallons of water sitting right next to some stuff that got moldy. So I would love to hear what you guys do in your car for water. Um, but for now I have these two um, as my backup water and I always have uh, at least a Nalgene's worth of water for me and a small Nalgene's worth of water for Teddy and the same for Cameron just in general um, and then when we go out to do wood stuff like day trips I bring an extra gallon so we usually have enough water but like as far as like emergency backup especially if you're not a water bottle carrier I would say a larger container would be better these have been great because they don't condensate you can get insulated water bottles for much cheaper. This is a hydro flask, which is like stupid expensive for what it is. I got it as a gift. Um, but you can get big gallon sized versions of these in at Walmart. So you can get, you can get like something that won't condensate. I'm just curious what you guys say about other things. And then I have another container. This actually works with my Sawyer uh, squeeze, which I don't have in my vehicle or in my vehicle kit right now, but I often have it with me in the woods. Um, so I just have this as an extra container to fill, like to put dirty water in and stuff. Um, and then I have a, a first aid kit. My friend got me this. That was really nice of her because I had kind of like a, a hobo together kit and I've added some things to it. This is a pretty basic first aid kit. I've added a few extra things. I added a whole bunch of Benadryl. Um, my husband has like a ton of allergies and Teddy actually has a couple allergies. Um, so medical emergencies that we might experience in the wood are, woods are probably either someone cutting themselves or an allergic reaction. Um, so this is this one's got like scissors and a tourniquet and a CPR kit and a few other things and instructions. And um, that coupled with my EDC first aid kit, which is much more customized to what we need. I have all of our specialized medications and band-aids that we like and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty comprehensive. It's not a trauma kit, which is something that I, if I could upgrade my survival kit in my car, I would like, I need the training first, but I would like to do that. So that's part of my first aid kit. I also have a backup umbrella. It just, it rains a lot in Oregon. So I have one of those. This is a trash bag, paper towels for checking the oil. Uh, toilet paper, <laughs> very important. 
Okay, and so this is kind of getting into more survival-y type stuff here. I have a stainless steel bowl. Uh, I have fancier bowls for camping, but this is just in case of an emergency and I need to boil water. And then I have some emergency fire starter. This is like a reused lotion container, but this is the emergency fire starter. It's got like uh, some wood pellets and um, resin and stuff like that in it. It um, you can just dump this on the ground and like cook over it if you needed to for like 15 to 20 minutes. So um, it's the easy peasy way to make fire. So in an emergency, I'm not gonna bust out the flint and steel or anything. I'm just gonna get the lighter, light up this, and use it for whatever we need. Uh, feminine items, those are handy for first aid as well. Uh, I actually, I've never used one of these before. This is a splint. Um, I got this in a box from John from Live for Wild, um, so this is just another part of the first aid kit, but this is just a really basic splint thing in case you sprain or break your, your ankle or break your arm or whatever. Um, paracord. Life straw. So this is, I like to use, uh, I have other filters, but this is just uh, what I have as an emergency in my car, so the life straw will do the job. I also have iodine tablets for water purification. So, oh, this is another part of my first aid kit. So this was part of the personalized one that I kind of had in my car before I got the more fancy one for my friend. Um, but this one also has a couple suture kits in it. I really hope I wouldn't be desperate enough to use them, but there's a couple one-use suture kits in here. Um, some super glue, some gloves, uh, medical tape, and some more gauze. So just some more like things that I think I would potentially need and know how to use. So there's those. Oh, just a couple sporks in case uh, we need those. Uh, Gatorade pouches. So uh, this is actually really important um, for Cameron especially, but anyone to have some electrolytes to go um, with your water. If you're working really hard because you're in a, stuck in a survival situation and near your car and you've got to like shovel out snow or you've got to cut up a tree that's in front of your car or you know there's like a million reasons why you might be doing physical labor in this situation and sweating out a bunch of electrolytes is just gonna be a bad time so electrolytes then I've got a, a bag of bags <laughs> this is just trash bags and ziploc bags and stuff like that for a variety of purposes. I have a flat, this is the, a big like 500 watt flashlight. Um, I do have a smaller one up front in my glove box, but this is like the big one that I would set up as like a little stand um, so that if I was like changing my tire at night or something, I would have light. Glow sticks in case I want to have a signaling thing. Um, you can kind of like, there's a lot of uses for those, but uh, also this is just a random notepad. Um, I usually have like a notepad with me, but that's just in case I run out of paper. Okay. Oh, this is like a makeup bag with a variety of things. So I've got backup batteries, a AAA and AA for the flashlights that I carry around with me. Um, hand sanitizer, chapstick, a lighter. There is a little um, Bear Grylls <laughs> uh, brand ferro rod and some uh, pitch wood and stuff in there just as backup stuff, but that emergency fire starter would, pro would be probably what I'd use Then I've got uh, One of these space blankets. I think it would be smarter for me to have more of these or a more heavy-duty larger one And um, this is just what I happen to own and this is a poncho And then I've got some hand warmers those have can be surprisingly useful and nice So that is everything in the box I'm going to spread it out and show it to you really quick, and then I'll show you what's in the glove box. <laughs> okay, so there's the box, and everything that fits in the box. So a pretty good loadout, and there's still room inside the box. I used the cardboard boxes in there to organize it. So the rest of my doodads are in, gosh, I keep pushing up my glasses because Teddy's like smashed them on my face, and now they're like whack. Anyway, uh, so inside the front of the, my car is where the rest of the, the gear is, so let me show you that. So inside the glove box we've got manual for the car, maps of the area, uh, lights for my blinkers, oh, <laughs> stuffed animal, uh, important stuff, and then I've got a ton of maps in the side part of the passenger door here. These are all maps of the woods we like to go to, the town we live in, all that kind of stuff. So 
I love me some Google, but it's nice to have good maps. Okay, and then in here, I have a little bag full of change. This is actually a, a battery you can use to jump your car. Um, it's super cool and we've tested it, it works. So that's very handy. This is another printout of the manual of the car because we couldn't find the original manual for a while. Anyway, toothbrush, toothpaste, another lighter, hairbrush. Oh, another poncho in case I want to put a poncho on before I exit the vehicle if it's like super rainy. Gum, hand sanitizer, chapstick, CDs, stuff like that. Oh, and a flashlight. Okay, so that is what I carry in my car. It's not perfect. Um, a lot of it is just like secondhand stuff and things I've kind of cobbled together. But I think the way I like everyday carry some more of my uh, nicer gear and of course we come prepared to the woods um, with food and water and our, you know, tools of preference and things like that. Uh, the, this is my like insurance against a variety of things. And so as someone who has driven a bunch of really old, not so good cars, I have found that a lot of the stuff has come in useful at some point um, in my life. I've used a lot of flares and helping other people. I've used a lot of flares um, and jumping my car all the time, as I mentioned before, and some stuff like that. So it's just nice to have a box of things to be prepared. Um, so I encourage you to do the same. Uh, I am welcoming critiques. Uh, I know I'm missing some things that would be ideal, especially in kind of the car tools department. Um, and I would say if you wanted to kind of get started on bringing some things to stay, uh, be prepared, um, bring some water and some first aid kit, a first aid kit with you when you go places so that you're ready to take care of yourself. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, more videos coming soon. And, uh, I hope you can get outside and play while it's still summer. Peace.